G'day folks, well, for tonight's little equipment autopsy we have a speed reducer that our uh, technical engineer at work gave me. This came out of a retrofitted pull cover system and it has completely shat itself. Immediately I noticed that the uh, drive socket for the motor has actually receded past the outer lip of the seal. You can start to see some of the glycol oil coming out through there. So I'm thinking it's actually spat the worm back into the housing. Uh, that's not good. So essentially you're going to take it apart, or at least try. There's a lot of cap screws around here. The oil inside should be a water soluble glycol so it's easy enough just to uh, wash out and dispose of. Uh, what was it? Port side was the name of the job. Port side gearbox. Uh, it's a city uh, or is it MI50 100 to 1 ratio? So they're fairly slow. It's a very low ratio. Anyway, I guess I better uh, remove one of these side covers and we'll have a look at where the worm's gone because it does clearly look like it's shot back into the housing at one point. Ooh, look at that, it's yummy inside. It's like a bronze paint, bronze coloured paint. Yeah, that's special. <laughs> not supposed to be like that and a big chip of brass inside the bearing race there it's all flaky <laughs> yeah it's munched itself Yep, that is not happy. It smells wonderful. It almost does smell like oil. I hope not, because this is my normal rubbish bin. <laughs> if it's water soluble, I just dilute it and use it as weed killer. It's basically like brake fluid, but stickier. No, no, it does smell like brake fluid. It'll dissolve in water dilute down anyway yeah it's not happy inside there's all kinds of metal chips and filings and bits coming out everywhere yeah not going to be able to turn that looks like it's wedged in there fairly firmly and it has popped back Gotta go that way a little bit more, but since the bearings have been eating bronze filings at 2000 RPM, they're not going to be very happy. This might only be spinning at 100 to 1 ratio, but this is spinning at motor speed, which is about 2000 revs. So it's been eating itself for a while. <laughs> not happy. You can see there's a clearly a dead zone where it's stripped all of the teeth off. Very stiff to turn that too. I'm guessing the bearing's actually turning, or well, the bearing's locked up with chips and it's actually uh, turning in the housing. So I'll undo the screws for the other side and the whole thing should just come apart. Oh, there we go. You can see there's some good teeth and then crunch. And it's just stripped all them clean off. Just in that one section. Everything else is fine. Yeah. Poor old thing uh, suffered a rather nasty death. It does look like it's been eating itself for a while though. Those teeth are worn fairly thin. And I'd say it's just had enough at one point and then crunch. There's a lot of brass filings or bronze or whatever that is. I'm guessing it's bronze. Uh, yeah, what more can I say? Death was rather painful. And that's just the uh, input which is... No, it still turns, sort of. The bearings are full of filings, so they're toast. Yeah, you can see the end of the shaft up in there. That's about it for that one. I'm not going to bother pulling that out. There's more paste pouring out of it. Yuck. I might even dump this in with the waste oil, it's that nasty. 
I know they're not compatible, but they all go to the same recycling facility. It's a lot worse than bloody brake fluid. Yuck. Brake fluid does make a good weed kill. You just spray it at the base at the centre of the weed and just a little bit, just dribble it in there. And uh, yeah, weed don't live no more. Mind you, you could just buy a bottle of Roundup. <laughs> but waste brake fluid, what else do you do with it? I don't know anyone who takes waste brake fluid. Waste oil I can get rid of for nothing. I got rid of 44 gallons last week. Not last week, I think the week before. Sometime like that I got rid of 44 gallons of it. Free, which is awesome. You don't have to burn it because it was rather nasty stuff, smelly stuff, a mixture of everything. And uh, crap like that, well, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. That's a little afternoon autopsy. I've got plenty more of them coming up. Now that I've found more things to pull to bits. Uh, thanks for watching.